Hey guys, Sam here from Speedland Technology. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Nova Launcher for Android and also included in this is going to be a little bit about the hollow locker which goes really nicely with Nova Launcher. So let's get into this. So let's start out with Hollow Locker. So this is Hollow Locker. It's extremely nice. When you tap on the screen, it has that little effect out of the padlock. As you can see, it has the time in a very nice modernized looking font. The date right up there. If I zoom in a bit and change this to manual focus, you can see right there. It has my alarm for tomorrow. And it will also tell you when it needs charging. But if I plug in the charging cable, something that my phone doesn't do on the lock screen, it tells me when it's charging and how much percent that it's been charged, which is really nice. And when it's charged, it also says it's charged. So when you hold down on the little padlock, you will notice that you get three options the camera the padlock or google so if you slide up to go to google search you can search google if you go that way you unlock the phone and if you go to the camera um, you take a photo you may notice also this tiny little free down there that's the service provider i'm using for my phone contract but you can change that text to whatever you want so if you wanted your phone number on there so you could remember that's a great idea so let's unlock the phone and get into uh, Nova Launcher. So this is Nova Launcher. By the way, this app, um, this clock up here is the Retro Clock Widget app. So that doesn't come in Nova Launcher, but this nice little Google bar right here does. You can search in the Google search uh, like that. Um, I did a test by saying dog, and my friend wanted to know what a Kelgi dog was, and I wanted to know what the biggest hospital in the UK is. It also has that voice recognition feature, cat. So if we search cat, um, there we go, it will do a Google search, and it will find out for me about cats. So that's really simple. So then... Um, you can also just tap and type in, but the Google voice search feature is nice. So then down towards the bottom, you get to customize this however you want. Um, and you get these nice new little icons, which you might notice. So, like, the phone is a lot different. The messages and the camera, a lot of this looks different. This, I uh, shouldn't have shown you that. But I'm not going to... Yeah, so the phone and the camera and stuff looks a lot different. I've changed the icons to the jelly bean ones. So I'm going to go to this screen. Um, it says St. David's Day is tomorrow. So that's my calendar widget. This is also the calendar widget which comes in the Nova Launcher. By the way, I'm running the Prime Edition, which is the paid edition. Um, yeah, so if you like the background on this as well, it's the um, Jelly Bean background or the Nexus background, one of them. The link to download it for free will be in the description. So if we look through my apps, you will notice that a lot of the icons are different. For example, clock right there, that's a different icon. Camera, uh, nothing else on that page. Gallery is different. Um, internet is different. What else? There is, oh, mails different, messages are different. Music is the same, surprisingly. That's a little weird. Um, just a little unusual there. Uh, phone is different. Personalize is the same again. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep moving the phone, which is probably annoying. And I think that's it with the different icons, because tasks is the same as well, which is also something they need to fix. So, yeah. So now if I go for the settings so you can see what else you can do to customize this. If it's going to load, it doesn't look like it wants to. Um, Nova settings, that works. There we go, so you get a few different options on this screen. So at the top we get the desktop um, title. And you get to choose what you want the search bar to look like, like I showed you before. You can have the 4.0 edition, which is what this phone is running or the 5.1 edition I love Android 4.1 and this is why I got this app because it mimics it um, so you can have you can change how many uh, screens you have I just lost the settings whoops 
Um, so there is a lot of customizable features. So you can change all this, change the draw style to like a list or just the icons. You can have groups, you can have the background transparency. You can change the theme colour. So if you can see up here there's that blue bar. Well, there will be a lot of blue things in this uh, plugin app. So there you go. Also if you want those icons go to look and feel and then change it to stock jelly bean. Because if I show you default you can see wait for it to load you can see the icons are a lot different from earlier if we focus down towards there yep you can see the icons are a lot different so let me just put them back to stock jelly bean because I really do like the stock jelly bean ones you can also change the screen uh, orientation so it will rotate uh, I last night I bought the prime edition so I haven't really customized it to how I had it when I had it free so you can turn that on I think it was in look and feel yeah so I like having it on auto rotate and you can also do that with the hollow locker so when you turn it it turns with you which is nice for a stand whoops lazy keep that down because my ringtone is extremely loud oh wrong way yeah so when you install a uh, launcher theme you will notice that all your hidden apps will appear again so you have to go back and do that Another thing I'm going to show you is the dock. You can have multiple dock pages, which is really nice. So if I set that to five, you can see that, whoops, that would be my Facebook. You can have multiple docks uh, like that. You fully customizable, which is really great. I think that's a really nice idea that I don't think many people have implemented before. Whoops, I want to keep that on or I'll never be able to get to my menu. I keep that to one. So, um, yeah, this is a really nice launcher. So, tell me what you think. And thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.